I'm ready. What up? Let's get to it. So you are delusional. I repeat, you are delusional if you think the defense holds any responsibility for the Vikings' loss. You are very delusional. Let me expound. First off, shout out Brian Flores. Glad he is in the building. Shout out to the defense for keeping the offense in the game, keeping the Vikings afloat, holding it down for the first three quarters, majority of the game doing their job, holding the Bucks to 20 points when the offense did nothing, when the offense put them in bad positions numerous times in the game. They were on the field all game. Of course, fatigue sets in. But shout out to Brian Flores and the Vikings defense just for applying pressure, man, fighting, playing defense, looking competent out there, right? Competing, being aggressive. That's what we wanted, that's what we wanted to see, right? Period, bottom line. Now, did, they, did they make mistakes? Yes. Do you question some of Brian Flores' play calls late in the game? Yes. But at the end of the day, they were tired, man. Dog tired. No excuses, still get it done. But come on, man. What more could they have done? They did their job. <laughs> Let's just talk about that. They did their job and they performed well. First half, <laughs> magnificent, man. Yeah, they gave up that end of the half scoring drive. Bad, you can't do it. Definitely, but that was off of a turnover, right? Come on, bro. That's not complimentary football. The offense let them down. The defense stood in there. They got pressure against Baker Mayfield. They were much better against the run, right? Even the cornerbacks, young rookies, stepped up. They held them to 20 points with their backs against the wall with no help, minimum help from the offense the second half, dog. On top of penalties, etc. On top of stupid things like hopping off sides from Jay Ward. Dumb decision, right? Mental error. They still kept the offense in the game, bro. They did enough to win the game. Hold the team to 20 points, that's not bad, bro. Going up against short fields as well, man. The offense not holding up, it's into the bargain. So don't sit up and blame the defense. The defense, A, took care of its responsibilities, you understand? Brian Flores showed, proved what he brings to the table. Now, did the players mess up some? Of course. But to fix your lips to say Brian Flores <laughs> didn't do a good job in his first game? Are you crazy? Are you kidding me? Now, of course... Later in the second half, I felt like the Vikings got too passive, too soft. What we saw last season with the Ed Donatel, the whole game, especially at the end of the game, you know, when the Bucks got the first down to end the game, I felt like they were way too soft playing off. Brian Flores was blitzing, attacking the whole game, even at the goal line at times. When he showed blitz, then got back in coverage, dropped back in coverage giving Baker Mayfield time to throw, get no pressure with three. So yes, Brian Flores, you know, made some mistakes in my opinion, but overall coached a great game, dialed it up nicely. Now, once again, that third and 10, the Bucks converted to end the game. I would like to see a blitz press in their chest, man. Heavy, make them earn it. But you play and you learn. And hopefully Brian Flores learns from his mistakes week one. But don't ever fix your lips to say it's the defense fault. You understand? The defense did its job, man. Majority of the game. The offense should have put that game away early, man. Before halftime, baby. Period. The defense flew around. D-Hunt was on the hunt. Do they make mistakes? Yeah, man. It's football. Week one. You're going to make mistakes. Comes with the territory, right? Heavy. But at the end of the day, they did enough to win. And they held the team down, bro. The, even the energy looks different, right? The aggressiveness, them going for it, putting pressure on a quarterback. <laughs> you understand? How many three and outs did they accomplish and the offense did nothing? They go back three and out. Come on, man. Let's be real. Give the defense its credit. Give props when props are due. This loss had nothing to do with the defense, man. <laughs> The defense deserves no blame, period. You look at the coaching, you look at KOC, you look at Kirk and the offensive line. That's the blame, man, period. They should take full responsibility, man. 
Don't just try to oh, throw it on the defense. The defense did good, a damn good job. Did more than enough to win the game. But you see the difference Brian Flores will make. Oh, yes, you see the difference. Now, do I think they need to, you know, be more aggressive, especially down the line, further into the season against the Eagles? They're going to have to be aggressive. They're going to have to find some pressure somehow. They're going to have to attack Jalen Hurts. He got all day to throw. He's going to pick him apart, man. So Brian Flores has some work to do, period, no doubt. He has some work to do. He can improve. He can get better. You can always grow, right? Never too late to learn. I'm sure Brian Flores understands that. I'm sure he would go back to the drawing board. Realize what he can do better. Bring it to the table. He's a good coach, man. Self-reflection, I'm sure he does that. They'll watch the film. They'll get better. But they're going to have to bring their A game for real on Thursday. Short week, short turnaround. What will they do? But once again, you are delusional if you think the defense had anything to do with this loss, man. The way they played, the way they fought, the way they stood tall even on the goal line, big moments, huh? Holding the Bucks to field goals. Kill that noise, man. Give the defense credit. We saw a big difference. The defense last season <laughs> against the defense this season. Oh, this defense is a lot better, bro. A lot better. And they shouldn't have been put in those situations where their backs were against the wall, right? Period. The offense should have handled its business. That's the bottom line. Let's not forget it. So shout out props and respect to the defense. Do they have improvements to make? Yes. Can they grow and get better? Yes, dog. But overall, great performance, man. Great performance. Side note, where is Brian Osamoa? Understand, what has he done? Is he hurt? Is he injured? Where was he at? Shout out Ivan Pace Jr., but they need more from Brian Asamoah, right? <laughs> Where's his speed? Sideline to sideline speed. Is he 100%? What's the deal with him? So that's my question for Brian Asamoah. Can he play? Is he ready, though? Is he a worthy draft pick, right? <laughs> Guess we shall see. Once again, shout out to the defense, man. Skull Vikes. Let me know how you feel about this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when I'm on and rock and rolling. Why not? Takes less than one second, man. No excuses. Support the channel for real. You understand? Big skull here. Skull Vikes forever.